friends let's solve a problem based on one dimensional continuity equation so we have a problem here you can see so let's solve this problem in order to understand the concept of one dimensional continuity equation so let me read this problem friends so we have a 250 mm diameter pipe conveying water which branches into two pipes of diameter 150 mm and 100 mm respectively so there's a main pipe having diameter 250 mm and that is branch into two other pipes having 150 mm and 100 mm diameters and we are having the velocities in 200 mm pipe and 150 mm pipe as 3 meters per second and 2 meters per second so we have to determine the velocity in the 100 mm diameter pipe so in order to solve this problem let me draw the diagram first the diagram will give you the idea of the situation so we have a main pipe of 250 mm diameter so first i'll draw that and this main pipe is branched into two other pipes so this is one branch this one is another branch so this is the main pipe this let me call section 1 1 and here diameter of main pipe is d1 which is 250 mm these are the branch pipes so this is the first branch let me call section 2 2 So diameter over here, let me call D two, which is given as if you read here, one fifty mm and hundred mm. So this is one fifty mm already done. So diameter of this is one fifty mm. While this, let me call this as section three three. That is third branch, third pipe. And here diameter I'm going to call D three, which is the hundred mm. Now the average velocity of fluid. at this pipe main branch let me call is v1 the velocity of fluid at this branch is v2 and the velocity of fluid at third branch is v3 so as per the given problem we have drawn the diagram so we have the diameter of all the branches so we know the value of diameter at d1 diameter of first pipe that is d1 which is 250 mm but we can always keep in meters so i'll divide it by 1000 and this is this will be 0.25 meter similarly diameter of second branch is d2 which is 150 mm so in meters it is going to be 0.15 meters similarly diameter of third pipe is going to be 100 mm which is in meter 0.10 meter So we have written all the diameters of pipe, all the diameters in terms of meters. Now, if you read the question, we are also having the velocities in 250 mm diameter pipe and 150 mm diameter pipes. So we have here the velocity v1. So v1 is basically the velocity of fluid in pipe having diameter 250 mm. So they have given already. that the average velocity is in 250 mm diameter pipe and 150 mm diameter pipe are 3 meters per second and 2 meters per second so v1 and v2 are given to us so v1 is given as 3 meters per second while v2 is given as 2 meters per second and v3 we have to calculate that is the velocity in 100 mm diameter pipe now in order to find the velocity of the fluid at section 3 that is the velocity of fluid in the 100 mm diameter pipe so we have to use the continuity equation but here there is a slight change because the fluid is entering from section 11 but fluid is leaving from section 22 and section 33 so for conservation of mass we have to consider this portion what i have shaded here as a system So this is the system. So the volume of fluid entering into this system from section one one will be equal to the volume of fluid leaving out from section two two and the volume of fluid leaving out from section three three. So by conservation of mass, we can write down that the discharge across section one is sum of the discharge across section two and section three because the fluid is entering across section 1 while it is leaving from section 2 and section 3 so whatever fluid is entering across section 1 that is discharge q1 
must be equal to the discharge Q2 and Q3. So this is a very important understanding. So from here, as you know that the discharge is nothing but the area into the velocity at that particular section. So section 1, 1 will have area A1 and velocity V1. Section 2, 2 will have area A2, velocity V2. And section 3, 3 will have area A3 and velocity V3. So this is basically the conservation of mass. Now as we know that, therefore area A1 is nothing but pi by 4 diameter 1 square into velocity 1. Area A2 is nothing but pi by 4 into diameter 2 square into velocity 2 plus area A3 is nothing but pi by 4 into diameter d3 into velocity 3. So we have written the expression for the area of cross section. Now since pi by 4 is there in all terms, so we can cancel out this pi by 4 term. We will ha have only diameter and velocity. So let me put the value of diameter 1 which is 0 0.25 into velocity 1 is 3. Diameter 2 is 0 0.15 square into velocity 2, 2 is 2 plus diameter d3 0 0.1 square into we don't know the velocity 3 that is velocity of fluid in the pipe having diameter 100 mm is not known so this is a equation of one variable so you can solve this equation to find out the value of v3 so if you solve this you will get v3 equals 14.25 meters per second 14.25 meters per second. So, this is a very important question. Always we should look for the conservation of mass. So, whatever mass is entering across section 1, that is going to leave from section 2 and section 3. Across section 1, if discharge is Q1, across section 2, discharge is Q2, and section 3, discharge is Q3. So, by intuition, by normal conservation of mass, Q1 which is entering into the system must be equal to Q2 plus Q3 which are leaving from the system. So, just by using this equation, we can easily find out the unknown velocity which is V3 here in this example.